Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax are in the business of making money. Why would they want you to send any letters? They're going to be losing money. Remember, TransUnion, Experian, and Equifax are your enemies. And I want to show you a six-step process to help you knock them out. So grab a pen, get some paper, sit back, relax, get something to drink, because we're about to get straight into it. Welcome to today's class. What we're going to be talking about is how to create a letter so good to make them credit bills, delete them negative accounts off your credit report, all right? Now, nothing is guaranteed, but we reap what we sow. If we sow nothing, we gonna reap nothing. So, what I'm gonna talk about doing the things that are required so we can reap them benefits. But first things first, let's go over today's agenda so I can show you what you need to do to knock the credit bills out. But first things first, you wanna gather intel. We wanna remove all those traps. We wanna extract information from the credit bills. We wanna do a deep credit report analysis. We wanna create an exclusive letter to of course knock the credit bills out. And of course, if they act crazy, how can we create a strategic plan to get them things removed from your credit report? And we're gonna be talking about all that today, all right? So first things first, you want to gather information. Remember, hey, your report is telling you a story. So what you're going to be doing is paying attention to the total accounts on your credit report. You're going to be looking at the open accounts, the closed accounts, the link with. What is the link with? The link is if you have any negative or if you pass through on some accounts, all right? Do you have any derogatory accounts? Do you have any collections? Do you, what's your balances looking like? Payments, public records, um, inquiries. Like I said, your report is telling your story, but this is not the end story. But remember I got a reminder. Are you going to let the credit bills hold you back from getting the things that you want? Let that sink in. And I already know you all, you ain't. So what you want to do is look at your report. What you're going to see is a lot of inconsistent information on your report. We're just gathering the information and we're just looking to see what is inconsistent. All right. Not with just open accounts, closed accounts as well is going to be inconsistent as well. Everything's going to be inconsistent on your report. And what you're going to see is a lot of inaccuracies. All right. You're going to see the date open. Most of the time, the date open, date last active, date of last payment, your um, payment status is always going to be inconsistent. So just look at every single account, all right? Not just your closed accounts. You also want to look at your open accounts, all right? You can leverage some of them open accounts to help you improve your credit score. So if you look at the open accounts and you see that the credit limit is incorrect or the balance is incorrect, it's not reporting the correct balance, and the payment status is incorrect, guess what? You can create a letter telling them to update it, fix it, so you can improve your credit score some points, all right? That's very important. But most importantly, I wanna talk about your open accounts. If you have credit cards, if you're not using credit cards to make you an additional money, you really don't need credit cards because guess what? They're designed to trap you. They want you to max out your credit cards. They give you a, a credit limit for $5,000. And guess what? They say, hey, I want you to max it out because you don't have the information that's needed to leverage this credit card to bring you more income. So they want you to go spend money on stuff that you really don't need. It's designed to trap you. So they want you to pay interest. They want you to be paying them every single month. It's like slavery, all right? So what you want to do, think about it. Because if you use that money for something else to bring you some more money in, you're going to be good. But like I said, they designed to actually trap you. Say, hey, get this, get that. Use it on this. So I'm not here to bash nobody, but I'm saying, think about it. Let's fix it so we can move on with our life. All right. Because our money is very important. We worked hard for it and we can use it for other things that's going to bring us more money in so we can do the things that we love or invest or put it on or give it to somebody or whatever it looks like. Do what you want to do with your money. But how do you gather more intel on, I mean, from the credit bills? Go to Experian. What you're going to see is a lot of information. If you act like you're about to dispute online and you go to every single address, like right here, and you just click on like you're about to dispute, what you're going to see is what accounts are actually attached to what address. And if you know that, you're going to make it hard for the credit bureaus to do their job. I don't really think they're doing their job anyway, but what you want to do is just extract the information and you're going to be able to create a letter, create a person. Now I have any videos talking about how to create a letter to remove personal information. If you don't have a letter, I got you. All right. Now, what you want to do is just create a letter, send it to the credit bureaus to remove your personal information from your credit report. All right. You want to have everything lined up. You just want to have one address, one name, one phone number. What you're going to see is variations of your addresses, variations of your first name, variations of your last name variations of your phone number. You're going to see variations of a lot of things. You're going to have a spouse on there that don't need to be on there. You're going to have job history on your credit report that doesn't need to be on there. We want to do is clean all that up. All right. This is very important. So now 
that you understand how to look at your Experian report and just see what address is attached to what specific account. Make sure you send a letter to Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax to remove that personal information off your report. All right. Now, don't get trapped. Like I said, these credit cards are designed to trap us, especially while you're trying to fix your credit. They're going to say, hey, you're pre approved for this. You pre qualify for this, this and that. All right. Now, they're going to be sending these letters in or these different offers while you fix up your credit. So how can you stop this from happening? What you want to do is go right here. You want to go to optoutprescreen.com. Click on it. Go all the way down to the bottom. Um, review it. Read over the information, of course. That's very important. But what you want to do is either we're not opting in because you can always opt back in. You can either opt out for five years or permanently opt out by mail. All right. Now. What you want to do is just read over each one. Yes, you can opt back in. You don't have to wait five years if you want to opt back in. But most importantly, I don't want you to get trapped because as you're fixing your credit, you don't know you don't need to be applying for credit. You don't need to be doing nothing. We need to get back on track to get things removed from our credit report. So I don't want you to get hit with these credit card offers. So you pre-approved for this loan, pre-approved for this, this and that. All right. We gotta stay, you know, tunnel vision. All right. So now what we want to do is create a letter, all right? All we doing, a, all we doing with this letter is we want the credit bureaus to lie on official document, all right? Now I'm gonna show you how to actually create a letter. First, the first letter you want to create, like I said, we're gonna create a letter so good and make them credit bureaus delete them negative accounts. We're creating a letter based off of the law. We're doing everything based off of the Fair Credit Reporting Act, which is 15 USC. 1681 all right we're just creating a letter based off of that so what you want to do is make sure you have your name date um the credit bureau we're only talking to one credit bureau all right so if we're talking to experian make sure you put only the accounts that are on experian that's holding your credit score back all right we're not going to be mixing it up because we want to make sure that hey we're directing this only to experian we're directing this only to transunion we're directing this only to equifax it's very important all right so Here's a letter to whom it concern. I just I just recently looked at my report. I wanted to make sure everything is 100% correct and accurate. Can you reinvestigate the accounts listed below? All right. Which one do is put the account name and the account number. Remember, it's OK if you put one, two, three, four. I mean, whatever the account number is, it's OK if you have the stars or the X's behind it. All right. Because sometimes they don't give you the complete account number. That's okay. So just list all the negative accounts that's holding your credit score back. But most importantly, we're giving them a specific instruction. All right. Reinvestigate re re the completeness of every piece of information. And if it's not accurate, put please remove it from my credit report. All right. We're telling them specific things. All right. If it's not correct, remove it from my credit report. Technically, what they're supposed to do is. Um, according to 15 USC 1681 I-5, they're supposed to either update it, modify it, delete it, all right? And I'm pretty sure they don't do none of that, all right? Now, just list all those negative accounts. But what's so good about this letter is having it notarized. The reason why you want to get it notarized is because the credit bureaus like to say you sound like a credit repair company. Guess what? Like I said before, why would they want for for why would they want to do an investigation? They want you to actually dispute online. They don't want to do an investigation. They don't want to do nothing. They're in the business of making money. So why would they want you to create a letter? All they can do is say, hey, they never received it. He's like a credit repair company, this and that. Why would they want to actually do an investigation? They're in the business of making money. Whatever they can do to send you back something to stop you from sending the letter back in, they'll do whatever, all right? So what we want to do is make them do an investigation. So create a letter. Get it notarized. You can go to a bank, see if it's free. Go to UPS. You got to pay some money. Go to um whatever to get it notarized. All right. Now, once you get it notarized, we want to send this to um, either Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax. All right. Send it certified. Key certified because they can say that they never received this letter. All right. And it's going to be a waste of time. We, we don't got time to waste. All right. So once you send it certified, now what you want to do is wait. Wait that time. Wait 35 days. From the time you send it, see when they got it. Count 35 days from the time they received it, all right? Because according to 15 USC 1681 I-6, they, no, they have 30 days. The I-6 say they have an additional five days 
um, to send that investigation back to you. So they have 35 days to um, for you to receive that report. Now, two things might happen, all right? You got the accounts deleted, which is good. The credit bureaus might say, hey, everything is updated, modified, everything is good. Now, we know that they probably didn't update it. So how do you know that? You want to compare reports from last month compared to this month, all right? And what you're going to see is they didn't really do nothing. They didn't update nothing. They didn't modify nothing according to 15 U.S.C. 1681 I-5. Now, you got them with that specific law, but also we're going to get some more laws um, to help you get these accounts deleted from your credit report, all right? So how can you get some more laws? You're going to basically tell them this. You're going to create a letter, and I'm going to show you how to create a letter based off of this law. A consumer report agency shall provide, I'm right here, shall provide to a consumer a description referred to in paragraph 6B3 by no later than 15 days after receiving a request from the consumer for that for that description. What you're asking them to do is provide you a description on how they investigated those specific accounts. And they're supposed to provide you a description in 15 days. All right. Send that letter in. Here's how you're going to create that letter based off of this law right here. So based off of that law, you're going to create a letter um, telling them, right? You're going to put your name, your address, key, right? Date, credit bureau's name, credit bureau's address, city, um, their experience, their transunion, their Equifax. Who are we talking to, all right? I am writing a request, a detailed description of the investigation process followed by your agency regarding to the disputed accounts on my report pursuant to the Fair Credit Reporting Act. 15 U.S.C. 1681 I-7. Under section 15 U.S.C. 1681 I-7, the credit report agencies are obligated to provide a description of the investigation within 15 days of receiving a consumer dispute. And what we want to do is, based off of whatever they say that was modified, hey, put the name and account, please provide a description procedure of the investigation used to verify this account. If not, if you can't delete this account immediately, I thought I said something else. All right, delete this account immediately. All right. Now, what you want to do is, you know, list all those accounts that they said that they quote unquote updated and modified and everything is complete and accurate. We want to ask them to provide a description of those specific accounts. All right. Now, they're supposed to provide a description of those specific accounts. If they can't, delete it. And they're supposed to provide it to you within 15 days. Now, Another thing you want to do is go ahead and get that notarized as well. All right, go get it notarized. Um, you know, like I said before, go to a bank, go to UPS, go to whoever, get it notarized, send it certified, add two forms of identification, and wait 15 days. Put a calendar there. When they received it, 15 days from the time they received it, they're supposed to send you uh, a description of the investigation. Now, probably they're not going to do that, all right? They're probably not going to do that. So what you want to do now is file a complaint. Let me walk you through the process of how actually how to file this complaint, every detail of what we need to do to you already know not credit bureaus out because like I said, we ain't just, just sitting back and relaxing, letting the credit bureaus and we on their heads. All right. So let me show you what you need to do. To do, you want to click on credit reported and we're we'll going to scroll all the way down to credit reported again and then click on next. Now, as we wait, we want to use this specific one right here. All right, so problem with companies investigation into a system problem. All right, now their investigation did not fix an error on your report. All right, now what we want to do is click on next. Have you tried to fix this problem with this company? Yes. Um, did you request information from this company? No. Yes, but you're not here for right now. Now, what you want to do is write a detailed complaint of what happened. And I got this very, very detailed complaint of what happened. All right. So I look, um, I looked at my report and I can go through all this, but go through some of it. I looked at my report, um, on December 1st and noticed some things are incomplete and not accurate. I sent the letter to Experian that we're only talking to, we're only addressing this to whatever credit bureau that you're, um, trying to complain with it. So is it Experian, is it TransUnion, or is it Equifax, all right? I sent the letter um, to Experian on December 2nd, 2023, and asked them to investigate the completeness and accuracy. I received the results and noticed they did not fix nothing. They are breaking the federal law. According to 15 U.S.C. 1681EB, it states the accuracy of this, accuracy of a report, whenever a consumer reporting agency prepares a consumer report, it shall follow reasonable procedures to ensure maximum possible accuracy of this information concerning the individual about whom it relates to all right now you can go ahead and read that law but 
That's what they're talking about. So I then asked them to provide me a description of the investigation according to 15 U.S.C. 1681 I-7. All right. We already read over that law. And guess what? But they did not do that as well either. All right. They're also breaking these laws as well. 15 U.S.C. 1681 I-5. Right. Or you can read over that law. 15 U.S.C. 1681 S-2. All right. And you can read that law as well. This is unfair. If they're doing this, they, this is unfair. And if they're doing this to me, imagine who else they're doing it to. Can you fix, can you fix this? All right. And then now what we want to do is tell them what's our fair resolution. What do you want to happen next? All right. So you just want to tell them to delete those negative accounts off your credit report. So put the account name and account number, delete these negative accounts based off a of violation of 18 USC and all the laws that they violated, all right? And continue this name off all the accounts that you want deleted. Name every last one off, all right? Based off the laws that they broke, um, have broken, and then attach the documents, attach the letters that you sent out, attach the reports, attach whatever you want to attach, all the evidence, and then just click on next, all right? Now, we're talking to experience, so we're looking for experience, all right? So look for experience. And if you talk to TransUnion, look for TransUnion. If you talk to Equifax, look for Equifax, all right? Experience, information solutions, social, name as it appears on your credit report, date of birth, all right? Now, once you do that, put the social, put the date of birth, put the name as it appears on your credit report, all right? Now, you also, you want to complain with the com another company? No. Now, once you click on next, what you're doing is verify and make sure your personal information is correct. Make sure the complaint is correct. And then you want to submit it and wait. So as you're waiting that time, since we're on the mission together, hey, I got a free gift that I want to send to you, all right? All you got to do is just cover shipping, all right? It's my book and I want to send it to you for free. And I just want to say thank you for allowing me to help you not to cut the brails out. And if you have any questions or comments, drop it in the comments and I'm going to respond back to you, all right? I'll just go get a copy of this book and I got you.